Welcome back. So we're at a hive that we weren't able to get to for at least two weeks in this destination. And we, we did a hive check without filming and found that there was a supersedure cell that had been opened. So instantly thought, ah, oh, okay, we haven't got a queen. We were looking for the queen. We went through that we couldn't find anything, but we, we thought there was a virgin. So we closed it up, left it 10 days just to see if they were gonna draw out some more cells. So we're gonna go in today. We're gonna see what's up with the hive and hopefully we've got a queen. If not, we're just gonna have to take other measures. So let's go into the hive and find out. Now obviously there could be a virgin queen in here, or a newly mated queen, so she's unmarked. So always check the queen excluder. There's a lot of activity in here still, so I don't think they have swarmed, which is really good. Now I'm instantly seeing queen cups here. Camera comes in a bit closer. There is actually something in there, but actually, no, that's a trick. That's just pollen inside a queen cup. I'll move the bees out of the way. You can see reddish tints. That's interesting. So that's just mainly stalls and pollen. So we're looking for eggs. That's our first priority at the moment. I'm already seeing a queen cell on the next frame, so we'll get to that in a minute. There we are. We've got super sieges. There you go. Okay, that's that's telling me something already. They are quite magnificent, actually. Right, so I'm not seeing at the moment any eggs. There's nothing in these cells. So we will be coming back to that frame because at the moment, I mean, we need to look at the rest of the hive, but with no eggs, no queen. Again, blowing the bees out the way. Yeah, I can't see any eggs. Nothing. Just use the light because this is quite dark comb. So you can see we've got lack of light at the moment anyway. I'm not seeing any activity in there. No cells on here either. No, nothing in here either. Nothing. So at the moment, we have two blue procedure cells. Let's see what goes on through here. Right, we've got another cell. Yeah, two on the other side. Yeah, so we've got a really nice one here as well. Yep, and another two, right. Still capped. That one not so good, that one's good. This is a super seeder, meaning they want to reproduce their queen. Either she's been killed, she's just died off, or she's fled. 
these are the, the prime cells. These are the cells that the bees have taken the most care of. So they're going to be the best that they can be. So this also tells you this hive hasn't got a queen. I know that because there's no eggs in here either. Now, like I said previously, we did see an open supersedure cell. We did manage to take a photo of, which I'll show. But obviously that queen hasn't been successful because it's been a few weeks. We've got more, more cells, another one. Okay, so we've got plenty to choose from. Another big one there. So we're going to have to go back through this. Another couple. Those aren't so good, I might just take those now. So we'll just take those out because we've got ample to choose from here. Just make our way through. Another queen cup here. Nothing in it. And another one. That's quite a good one as well. Now these are sticking out more, so to my eye they're not as good as the supersedure that's elongated. So we will take those. moving into more of their stores. They can still carry eggs over. You can see though it's broken the honey. Again, I think this is just honey. Always look under here, as you can see they're just loose and there could be cells lurking. So just gently wipe the bees away. Can't see anything. So, change of plans. We're back. As you can see, there's a different hive stand. I'm going to split the hive. So it kind of doubles our chances just in case something goes wrong, which it does in beekeeping. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through, we're going to select two nice supersedure cells. We're going to put them in here and take a couple of frames of food. So that will sustain them. And then we're going to go through here and select two for the same for this. Some beekeepers like to only have one cell, but the trouble is, it's a bit risky, just in case the queen doesn't come back, doesn't hatch, something can go wrong. So if we leave two, the bees can sort it out themselves. So let's go through and uh, let's select our cells. So let's just brush them off here, so we put them on the stand. I think it's this frame that has the nice two supersedures on. Yes, it is. So, let's just take down all the queen cups. So these are the supersedures. Lovely cells, all capped and all ready. So we'll take down the, the queen cups because I don't think there's anything in them. No, there isn't. So this is their last resort. Because there's no eggs in here that I can see, this is it now. If you take these down and they don't have any other cells, there's no way of them making a queen. 
and then you'll start having laying workers which only produce drones and then the hive will die. So this is their last chance. So we're just gonna check through. We'll remember this frame and then we'll just go through and then select another couple of supersedures for the nook. Just do a thorough check. Go. Two attempts there. Some bees do get a bit feisty when there's no queen and when you do take out stings, although they haven't actually gone through the glove, which is really nice, just swipe them from the side, pull them out, never pinch them because you're actually, these are like beacons. So the bees will go, oh okay, let's go and sting some more. So if we just get rid of those. You can tell they're not happy. Oh, this one's got yes. Oh yes, okay. So we've got two nice ones here. Well, that one not so much. So I might take that one away. It's a lesser. We could take this one. We've got a bit of honey stores in here. We've got pollen, we've got capped brood, and then we've got the supersedure. So we will have the new bees coming out. So we'll put that in the, in the note. So, had another attempt. You can see, it's actually in me now. Um, well, we just have to muster on. Yeah. Trouble is, bees don't realise you're trying to help. And smoking the area helps as well, as it takes away the scent. So, we'll keep going. We've got some more now. Another lovely one there. We could take that one, couldn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah. That one not so much. That one is similar to an emergency cell. It is overhanging, but it's still it's very small. So we we'll take that one away. We'll take this one away because it's not as big. So that leaves. Is there another one? That one's. Let's leave that one, I think. That one's higher. Let's take that one away. So let's just check the other side. Oh, yeah, we've got some more here. That's a swarm, so. That one is a cream cup. Let's see if there's anything in it. No. We'll take the swarm cell. So we will take that cell there, I think. So that's two cells now in here. So if we just push these in the middle. Put another cell in. See, even wearing leather gloves, it doesn't stop you from being stung. So there's nothing really in here. I mean, there are, there are some stores, but not much. So they can have that back. These, I, I want one of those frames here. This is full of honey, so I will use it. So 
have a look. Yeah, they're really not happy. Really not happy. But this is the job we do. It has to be done. Right, so this has lots of honey on it. Make sure there's no other cells. So we will take this and that can be their food for now. We will be feeding them syrup as well on, on the nook. But because this hive has a full super, they're fine with food. And plus it's a whole colony, so we're mm -hmm. bringing it in. Now, some of these bees are obviously flying bees, so they're gonna be coming back into this hive. It doesn't really matter how far apart you put them, because one angle for a virgin queen, because we're gonna have hopefully two virgins going out to flight. One's gonna come here and the other here. So as long as they know where and what hive to go, it should be fine. I'm relying on this smoker more than normal now. Come on girls, out the way. Now, let's check that last frame just so we know exactly what's going on. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, we could give another frame of food to this nook. You think we should? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's take, let's take that as well, because that's full of honey. So you can't beat honey. So we'll give them that. And that's their five frames now. This yeah. one I made earlier. She just has a wax strip, uh, just like these here. Just a little starter strip. It just gives them something to build. So this is good to go now. So if we move all these up. So we have two supersedure cells. So let's get the crown board on, get as many in as possible. That is a completed nook. So now we want to go back into here, we want to make sure that there's only two cells left in here. Put in a starter strip. Maybe we could put another one in actually. And move them up. Really feisty. Just shows you the difference between a queenless colony and a normal, because these are normally very, very pleasant bees. So this one should be the two supersedures, which we've got to take great care with. And there they are. So we're just doing one final check on this frame. That's them there. Make sure there's nothing else. Looking okay on that side. We'll just do one more sweep on this side. Looks good to me. Right, so we will be putting those in very gently. Move that up. So then we can put the spring in with stores up against this side. We'll put one more frame in for the starter strip. So that's them now done.
on board. And then a hive lid. Okay, so they were feisty. So we've got a, a hive, no queen, with two supersedure cells. So hopefully they will have a queen. And then we've got a backup of a nook with two supersedure cells. So hopefully that will be successful. But again, if, if the worst comes to the worst, we'll just have to requeen with a live queen. Um, but hopefully they will survive. So as you can see, that was a really, really feisty hive. My fingers are swelling already. Um, so yes, we've left two procedures in each. I do this because this is just a backup, but the queens, when they hatch normally, they fight it out inside. Sometimes, yes, they probably will go off and swarm with a virgin, but this is the risk we take. So this way, we've got a backup no matter what happens. So thanks for watching. See you next time.